Have you ever wondered how ancient civilizations, without our modern tools and knowledge, engineered impressive structures and sophisticated technologies? Today we'll embark on a captivating journey back in time, to an era where human ingenuity was at its prime, crafting marvels that continue to astound us. We'll traverse the globe from the mathematical prowess of the ancient Babylonians etched onto a clay tablet to the intricate metalworking techniques of the lost wax casting method. We'll marvel at the hydraulic engineering feats of the Kanat irrigation systems in Iran and the Portuguese cistern in El Jadida, Morocco. And we'll delve into the scientific realm, exploring the iron smelting furnaces of Sri Lanka and Burkina Faso, as well as the surgical techniques documented by Sushruta in India. These are but a few of the incredible ancient technologies that our forebears developed. Join us on this journey across millennia as we delve into 12 incredible ancient technologies that shaped the world as we know it. Imagine computing complex mathematical problems without a calculator or computer. The ancient Babylonians did just that with clay tablets like YBC 7289. In the cradle of civilization nestled between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, the Babylonians developed a number system that was both complex and precise. Their mathematical prowess is evident in the clay tablet YBC 7289, which dates back to between 1800 and 1600 BCE. This nearly 4,000-year-old tablet features a diagram that demonstrates an advanced understanding of square roots, proving that the computational precision of the Babylonians was nothing short of remarkable. This tablet, roughly the size of a palm, has etched upon it a square with diagonals. It's a visual representation of the Pythagorean theorem, nearly a millennium before Pythagoras was even born. The Babylonians didn't just understand this mathematical concept. They could calculate it to an impressive degree of accuracy, showcasing their sophisticated grasp of numbers and geometry. But the Babylonians weren't just mathematicians. Let's journey now to the realm of ancient metalworking, to a time before the invention of modern casting methods, where artisans had to be both creative and resourceful. Welcome to the world of lost wax casting, a technique that dates back to 3700 BCE. The process involved creating a model of the desired object in wax, then covering it with clay. Once the clay hardened, it was heated to melt the wax, leaving a hollow mold. Molten metal was then poured into this mold, and once cooled, the clay was broken away, revealing a detailed metal object. From intricate jewelry to life-size statues, the lost wax casting method allowed ancient artisans to produce some of the most stunning and detailed metalworks of antiquity. These technologies highlight the precision and creativity of ancient artisans and mathematicians, don't they? Water, a vital resource, has always posed both challenges and opportunities. Ancient civilizations demonstrated remarkable hydraulic engineering skills to manage it efficiently. One prime example is the Persian Kanat system, originating around 1000 BCE. This extensive underground irrigation network was a testament to ancient ingenuity in sustainable water management. The Kanats were marvelously engineered, comprising of a series of wells connected by gently sloping tunnels which directed water from aquifers in highland areas to accessible locations in arid regions. This system not only facilitated agriculture in harsh landscapes, but also cooled and humidified the surrounding air. It's a testament to their design and durability that many of these kanats are still functional today, quenching the thirst of dry lands. But our journey through ancient hydraulic engineering doesn't stop there. Let's travel to El Jadida, Morocco, where the Portuguese built a cistern in the early 16th century. This architectural marvel features a central column supporting a ribbed vault, a Gothic arch reflecting on a thin layer of water on the floor. This cistern was not just a water storage facility. It was a space of ethereal beauty and calm, where light and shadow danced on the rippling surface of the water, creating an atmospheric spectacle. What's truly remarkable about the Portuguese cistern is its dual functionality. While it efficiently stored and supplied water, its design also created a serene and almost otherworldly environment. Even today visitors marvel at the cistern's atmospheric beauty and ingenious design. 
a testament to the ancient expertise in creating functional and aesthetic water-related structures. From the arid landscapes of Persia to the coastal town of El Jadida, these two examples highlight the remarkable understanding and application of hydraulic engineering in ancient times. The Persian Khanats and the Portuguese Cistern are enduring symbols of the innovative and resourceful spirit that propelled ancient civilizations to master their environment in ingenious ways. These hydraulic marvels are still admired today, aren't they? From creating high-quality steel to performing intricate surgeries, ancient civilizations were not just builders, but also healers and innovators. Let's journey to Sri Lanka, where the wind was harnessed in an ingenious way. Dating back to the 9th or 10th century, wind-powered iron smelting furnaces made use of the monsoon winds to produce high carbon steel. This wasn't a matter of simply blowing air onto a fire. It was a complex process requiring a deep understanding of the elements and a mastery of metallurgical techniques. These furnaces, shaped to capture the monsoon winds, facilitated the production of high-quality steel, showcasing a novel approach to iron smelting using natural forces. Now let's travel to Burkina Faso, where ancient metallurgical skills were put to the test. Operational since 800 BCE, the Burkinabe iron metallurgy sites highlight the advanced metallurgical prowess of the ancient Burkinabe people. Using natural draft furnaces, they were able to produce iron, a feat that catapulted their society into a new age of technology and innovation. Today these sites are recognized as UNESCO heritage sites, a testament to their historical significance and technological ingenuity. And then there's the world of medicine, where ancient knowledge and skills were nothing short of astounding. Around 600 BCE in India, a physician named Sushruta documented surgical procedures including rhinoplasty. Yes, you heard that right. Rhinoplasty, a surgical procedure commonly associated with modern plastic surgery, was being performed thousands of years ago. Sushruta's detailed records demonstrate not only his own knowledge and skill, but also the advanced medical understanding of his time. His work laid the foundation for many surgical procedures that are still in use today, underscoring the enduring legacy of these ancient medical pioneers. These advancements underline the extensive scientific knowledge and skills of our ancestors, don't they? From the spiral-shaped rock formations in Nebraska to the ancient Chinese abacus ring, these technologies truly reflect the ingenuity of our ancestors. The Babylonian clay tablet YBC 7289, for instance, offers a glimpse into the advanced mathematical calculations of the time. The lost wax casting method revolutionized metalworking, while the Portuguese cistern in El Jadida and Persian Kanat system showcase ancient hydraulic engineering marvels. Iron smelting in Sri Lanka and Burkina Faso and surgical procedures documented by Sushruta in India highlight the scientific knowledge and skills of ancient cultures. The Egyptian bow drill, the Burkinabe iron metallurgy sites, and the Incan hydraulic engineering techniques further attest to their technological prowess. And let's not forget the astronomical alignment of Adam's calendar. These instances underline the profound understanding and utilization of technology by ancient civilizations. Indeed, our ancestors were not just survivors, but innovators shaping the world with their profound understanding and utilization of technology. Don't you agree?